Good afternoon. It's Dilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am so excited about doing these pours. Um, I think I, yeah, I definitely told you on um, the other day's pour, which I will link in the comments below, that I had a trip to my local op shop or charity shop, uh, whatever you call them in your part of the world call them op shots. I got some great finds. I bought lots of different vases. This one I got for two dollars which was previously thirty dollars. Um, oh I've got so many. I've got this little vase. So they're going to be great to gift away to whoever family and friends for Christmas and I'll do different pours over them just like I would be if I was pouring on canvas and um, bring you guys along for the journey because you guys like me will go into your house or your boxes and start what can I pour on now that I've grown tired of and I don't like any longer then just go in and pour it and change it either for your own decor, decor or you can gift it which is homemade gifts done that looks beautiful are always well received so that's what I believe. So this one I'm going to actually try and pour onto this canvas so the leftover paint I can try and make something of on that canvas. Um, so first of all I will start with the prep because I'm told that I don't have to do any particular prep in covering it with um, a primer or anything. I just have to clean it with really well with gloved hands so none of the oils from your hands or your fingers get on to the product that you're going to pour over. So I've just got some isopol, um, which is alcohol, wiping alcohol, and I'll give it a good spray with this. And so it cleans your vase. Basically, you're ready for pouring once you've, you've done this. Give it a good clean, good wipe over. It takes all the dust and fingerprints off it because apparently it's fingerprints that can cause the most sort of unsuccessful because of the oils from from our bodies. So I see a few little sticky spots there so maybe had a tag on before. So this one I had a feeling that I wanted to do some yellow and red and turquoise but as you if you know me then those colours can absolutely change as I go along. And I'm going to use the uh, Montmartre, these are pre-made pouring paints. So from what I believe, they haven't got any silicone added. So when I come to gloss coat or, or even if you wanted to resin, um, this, sh this shouldn't affect them from what I'm told. And what I've found with this, I've already got it inside my house displayed, so I haven't got it here to show you. The vase that I did uh, last week in the pouring paints it dries really quite glossy on its own uh, the end product is really quite glossy and vinyl feel to it I did coat it several times afterwards but it felt quite nice so I think gosh those are the way to go you've got no preparing to do and um, you pour straight from the bottle so that's what I'm going to do how easy is that just really simple, easy project for you. And just check that I've got this in the frame so you can all see what I'm doing. Yeah, so this is just a kind of a bland vase, as you see. It's not nothing special. So I'm hoping to make it into something special. So I'll just move it for a second while I fill my cup up. So here we go. This is the real bright yellow. I want to really have this one pop. Pop your socks off. Oh, I can, sometimes they become stuck and so I just twist in it. I'm just taking the whole cap off to pour into my cup. So there goes the yellow. How easy is this when you've got to do nothing to it? <laughs> Give it a good shake. Nothing added, nothing taken away. I'm just basically pouring straight in, not, not down the side of my cup like I normally would do if I'm doing a pour. Just pouring it in there. 
So that is the turquoise. I'm going to add some of the really, as a contrast, the ultramarine blue. Nice turquoise in there. Hope it doesn't go too green, as um, it could do. <laughs> I will add the phalo turquoise. Is this one phalo turquoise? Oops! Oh, that came out quick. That seems a lot thinner than the other colours. That's strange. Okay, now for the red popper is the cadminium, minimum, cadminium, cadminium mine, or whatever it is, cadminium red. See, this one's thicker. It's thicker than some, so I'm not sure how much paint I'll need for this particular vase, but as I did with the other one I did the other day, I did stop and just pour some more colours into the cup and started pouring over it again and it worked out absolutely fine so there was no big dramas I want to put a good chunk of yellow in there as you've seen and some more dark blue as a good contrast in there now that looks cool 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 too cool for school I'm just going to give this a swirl oh look at the Look at that, looks nice. Okay, okie doke. Let's get this going. I want to thank you for your lovely, lovely comments you've been giving me of late and your support in subscribing to my channel. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, now, do I, yeah, I'm going to do in the rings or am I gonna, just going to pour it? kind of goes in rings anyway come on you good thing oh it's wonderful because you basically don't know what you're gonna get it's um what's it life is like a box of chocolates you never know which one you're gonna get I know the perfect person for this one with the reds in it's got a red uh, going on in their house, so I'm going to... Got it earmarked already, I know who it's going to. Oop, I don't think I need much more than that. Oh, okay. I'm covered at the back here, I'm taking care of the back, but I haven't got that front in front of you covered. Okay, the red's gone now. Silly duffer. I can always put some red over it. That's not a problem at all. Oh, there's a bit of red coming out of my cup now. Wowzers, trousers. I know what I never did. Silly Jilly, I meant to put my two sticks underneath this canvas. Now how the heck am I going to lift it up? Holy dooly! I was going to put my sticks under. Oh, there you go. This is too excited. How am I going to do this now? <laughs> Okay, now here is where you may see accidents on camera. How am I going to do this? I've got to kind of lift it to another area while I... Ah. See, I was so excited to do it, I didn't think... I'm just going to put the sticks down on this beside it so I've got somewhere to lift it off to. And I don't think this is going to work with these two because it will end up... Ah! Poop! Not happy, Jen. I want some more red in that, so I'm going to pour it directly from the bottle. Let's see what this does. Oh. 
ha 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 I actually like that look so it looks like there's molten lava coming down I'll just do it oh yes look at that <laughs> I love it go away fly or you're going to become part of the art party art oh my goodness I love that there you go give that one a try wowzers trousers I love it and see that hi happy accidents I've never actually watched Bob Ross myself is that terrible everybody keeps telling me the saying that he says they're never um they're always happy accidents or something like that not completely sure but I have no idea how I'm going to get that off there now oh gosh now you really want to see an accident on camera this is not going to work is it This is not a good time. <laughs> oh. Okay. Shikes. Just picked it up and then poured. Oh. I'll just pour over my fingerprints. Well, that's not actually even Stevens. Oh, that. And just have to pour over where my fingers have been sorry if it's out of camera I just needed to I just so love that particular pouring the red on afterwards it's just created something special that's gone muddy that might not be I don't know we'll work with that we'll, we'll give it a try look if it doesn't work out then nothing ventured nothing gained so i'll try the piece the canvas next and then i can always bring the camera over and show you the the vase which i actually love pouring that red on afterwards so i might need it's gone already gone a brownie color so that's not good but i will Keep pushing on with it as you do and see if we can get something good out of it so remember as I say it's only paint you know if you don't like it you just scrape it and go on so 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 I might pour a good dash of white in what I have left so I can create some contrast in that I'm just gonna use my pre-made paint so hopefully the two will mix well, which is just um, Montmartre, but um, this was the one I just made up, pre-made up, my normal pouring medium. So I will add kind of the same colours, except a good dash of white in there, I suppose, because I want to some contrast in this. Let's see what I get. Okay, I might tilt this all over the canvas see what we've got this obviously was a canvas that I not liked and I've scraped it so hence it looks a bit cruddy and I didn't mind you know if things don't work out too well on it because it's had a fair bit of use this canvas done tests and all sorts on it so all good all right all righty I am going to do kind of a travelling duvalaki thing. Do make sure I just get loads up in this corner. I can always add more to it, not a problem. bring it over the muddy bit which has covered it up nicely covered it up really well Ooh, sorry if this is going out of the frame I just need to 
tilt it and then I'll bring it back to show you. So look at that. Wowzers, trousers. Okay. Wow. I like it. I do like it, but now it doesn't necessarily go with my vase because my vase has got this whole molten lava look about it. And I absolutely love it. It's super duper. I really love it. Now that's given me so many ideas. Okay, I'm going to get my little heat torch. Um, and just, just go over with the heat torch to blow out, get rid of any air bubbles on the bars and uh, in the painting. do I'm not sure if I can sure I can turn my camera to show you the vase but what there will be is the photo oh like you've seen the vase that's pretty good um, yeah it looks better on the other side I don't want to move it so what I will do is I'll show you the end results when they're dry and they'll be on the photos and I will give this a coat of the um, fusion pouring resin that I water down uh, water it down just with a bit of water in the pouring resin and then just uh, use a damp cloth to dip in the res the resin mixture and wipe over it and it gives a really lovely gloss coating because you can just keep on coating and building up the coats so onwards for my next one I'm so excited now so thank you so much for joining me please consider subscribing um, reach my next milestone which I'm trying to reach by my birthday in January I'm trying to reach uh, 100,000 subscribers by January um, it's just one of those things that I'd love to show my kids my adult kids that yet yeah, a mother of a certain age can still be uh, reach the milestone of 100,000 youtubers doing art so please help me get there by sharing and recommending my site to your family and friends. That would be wonderful. So until next time, which will be tomorrow, a video out every day. Bye for now.